Hello friends, in this video we will try to discuss how to handle complex or nested JSON using PySpark. Okay. For this particular scenario, I am I will try to take some sample JSON, nested JSON, and we'll try to see how to access the elements. So the files is resides under file store under tables. So we'll try to see. I will try to take any of the sample JSON. So we do have sample two, sample three, sample four. Okay. Now I will we will try to take the necessary libraries which are required for our extraction from Facebook dot SQL dot functions import. So we do require explore comma call these two functions which we require and we will try to read the json file now spark dot read dot so basically this is uh, uh, nested or complex json right it's required the parameter called multi-line so we need to mark multi-line as true else it, it will uh, reflect the it will throw an error okay so then json so the location is file store table slash so we'll try to take sample 3 dot json okay now underscore json dot we'll see print schema and display df underscore json okay now we will try to see schema as well as sample data how it looks see this is how so under cars there is a vehicle under vehicle the attributes are available cc color id and type okay and we do have collection within collection we do have id and type attributes okay now so this is in the form of struct of array of struct okay now we will try to take out uh, the required format of columns okay so for this we will try to take some sample variable we will store under tf final so tf underscore json dot let's say some new column we will try to store it that is we do have cars right so let's say cars explored okay so in this now we will try to explode the cards of this array of struct of struct okay one we will try to access the attributes of cc color id and type so for that first we have to explode that column how to so first give the cars dot vehicle okay start vehicle now dot with the color okay now let's say cards underscore cars let's say cc okay now what is our first attribute here cc right so now let's take off call of so after explore we are storing under this column right try to take that followed by what is the call name cc okay first attribute is cc now dot with the column let's say call but the second one is co and color okay now 
let's take cars underscore explore dot color now let's try to access the third one so just try to copy we'll try to paste it here third attribute is id so color dot let's say id let's take this again and apply let's keep it so what is the last attribute we have type so keep it type here okay now let's handle now we will drop the cars explored option now we don't want okay now let's try to display the sample data df underscore final we'll try to see now whether it is working as expected or not okay so if we try to look see we can able to handle see it's a id car so id is already is there okay so id is already is there under cars we do have cc color id type okay cc color id type so car cc car color color id color type so we can able to extract successfully out of the struct of array of struct okay so this is how and uh, we do have second uh, so let's so try to take so collection also we need to explode okay with column so we have to take so though it is collection right collection explode let's go explode we will try to give now so here first we will try to explode the collection so oh, the name is go entry collection okay now let's try to take this with column and here what columns or attributes we do have under collection we do have id and type so take id collection dot id copy this and type so replace here as well okay now let's drop the collection explorer column we now we are dropping because the exploded uh, attributes contains which we already taken out into different columns and then we are deleting it now we'll try to run and see see if we try to look at see see collection id collection type we can able to extract it successfully now i don't want these two columns let's say so that case what we can do here we can keep it cars and here we can keep it collection so if i want to only the structured format columns see now it is all the columns are looks like in a tabular form okay so i have taken a just a, a sample a file okay so here uh, try to uh, observe like how are we going to handle it uh, when we have it uh, complex or nested json how are we going to access the independent attributes and make you know, formatting it as uh, required columns into the tabular form so that is the main motto i have taken just uh, some sample exam sample file where it contains annals 
so this is how the idea is here how to access the when we have struct of array of struct elements okay so this is how we can handle it guys okay that's all for today's guys if you really like this video please do subscribe it like it and share it and do the comment